In today's information-packed world, grabbing and keeping people's attention is tough, but psychology gives us a toolbox of tactics to positively shape how people see things, act, and decide. These tricks, rooted in solid psychology, help us communicate better and form deeper connections. From a simple smile to the power of anticipation, each trick offers insight into the human mind, helping us connect more meaningfully. By using these principles ethically, we can achieve goals while fostering understanding and cooperation. This guide dives into 18 psychological tricks, explaining how they work and how to use them in daily life, work, and relationships. Understanding and applying these techniques can empower us to influence situations positively, improve communication, and strengthen our connections with others. Welcome to the fascinating world of applied psychology, where understanding human behavior leads to genuine connections. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Statistics show that only a small fraction of viewers subscribe. If you find this content helpful, hit subscribe to connect with like-minded individuals on this unique journey and turn on the notification bell. Now let's dive in. Number 1. The Power of the Name in the realm of communication and personal influence, something as simple as using a person's name during a conversation can make a significant positive impact. While it may seem minor, this act carries profound meaning and influence. A name isn't just a collection of letters, it's the audible representation of someone's identity, reflecting their history, personality and essence. When we address someone by their name, we're not only grabbing their attention, we're acknowledging their individuality and expressing our respect and appreciation for them implicitly. Using a person's name establishes a direct line of communication, turning a generic interaction into a personal and meaningful connection. This nonverbal acknowledgement of their importance not only strengthens relationships but also enhances the effectiveness of our message. However, it's vital that this tactic is employed genuinely and in moderation. Overuse or obvious manipulation can create discomfort or distrust, negating the positive impact. The key to effectively using someone's name lies in sincerity and the genuine desire to connect. This approach can be particularly impactful at the outset of a conversation, when asking a direct question or expressing gratitude. These moments of personal recognition reinforce the value of the interaction. Furthermore, actively listening and showing genuine interest in what the other person has to say complements the use of their name, strengthening the connection and demonstrating respect for their perspective. Despite its simplicity, using someone's name is a potent tool in fostering positive influence and building relationships. It underscores the importance of recognizing the dignity and worth of each individual in effective communication. By consciously employing someone's name, we not only refine our communication skills but also demonstrate a level of respect and empathy that can completely transform our interactions. Number 2. The Smile A smile is one of our most potent yet often overlooked tools of communication. It goes beyond cultural and language barriers, conveying joy, openness and empathy effortlessly, even without saying a word. But we're not talking about just any smile here. We're focusing on the genuine one, the kind that lights up not only the mouth but also the eyes, creating those telltale crow's feet. This sincere smile, often known as the Duchenne smile, universally signals happiness and authenticity. It has the remarkable ability to disarm, forge instant connections, and even change someone's emotional state. Research shows that genuine smiles can positively affect others' moods, fostering an atmosphere of positivity and receptivity. Furthermore, smiles are contagious, setting off a chain reaction of positivity that can brighten not just a moment, but an entire day. Intentionally offering a genuine smile in our daily interactions, whether personal or professional, is a simple yet profoundly effective way to enhance the quality of our communication and relationships. It's more than just putting on a happy face. It's about being genuine, vulnerable, and authentic. When we genuinely smile at someone, we're communicating without words that we're genuinely glad to see them, that we appreciate their presence, and that we're open to connecting positively. However, 
it's crucial to remember that the timing and context of a smile matter. A forced or inappropriate smile can backfire, creating distance instead of closeness. Therefore, it's essential to be mindful not only of our intentions when smiling, but also of how it's perceived by the other person. A genuine smile serves as a master key in the art of communication, capable of unlocking doors and building bridges where words alone may fall short. It reminds us that even in the simplest moments, we can make a significant impact on the world around us, fostering an environment of positivity, empathy, and genuine human connection. Incorporating genuine smiles into our social interactions isn't just a psychological strategy. It's a gesture of kindness and humanity that enriches both the giver and the receiver. At number three, mirroring. Mirroring, a fascinating psychological technique, taps into our natural inclination to feel closer to those who mirror our behaviors, gestures, or speech patterns. This instinctual drive for familiarity and comfort in social interactions can serve as a potent communication tool when applied consciously and subtly. People are drawn to symmetry and similarity, which can foster increased empathy and mutual trust, ultimately enhancing communication and strengthening relationships. Effective mirroring requires a delicate balance, done in a way that's almost imperceptible. The aim isn't to mechanically copy every movement or word, but rather to authentically capture the essence of the other person's behavior. This could involve syncing speech rhythms, adopting similar body postures, or mirroring facial expressions. When executed with care, these actions can facilitate a deeper connection without the other person consciously realizing why they feel more understood or close. It's essential that mirroring is practiced with respect and integrity, rooted in the genuine desire to establish a connection rather than as a manipulative tactic. Genuine mirroring not only enhances communication but also reinforces mutual respect and consideration, crucial elements of healthy relationships. In professional settings like negotiations or team meetings, mirroring can be particularly valuable for building rapport and collaboration. By subtly reflecting the gestures or tone of a colleague or client, a more harmonious and conducive environment for mutual understanding and success can be created. Mirroring goes beyond a mere psychological trick. It's a communication approach that, when employed with thoughtfulness and authenticity, has the potential to elevate casual interactions into meaningful connections. By practicing mirroring with awareness and respect, we not only enhance our ability to relate to others, but also enrich our social experiences in profound and lasting ways. Number four, the favor technique. A subtle strategy rooted in the psychological principle of reciprocity suggests that asking someone for a favor can actually increase their fondness for you. This concept gained popularity as the Ben Franklin effect, named after an incident involving Benjamin Franklin borrowing a rare book from a political rival, which led to a lasting friendship between them. The underlying idea is that when people do a favor for someone, they justify their actions to themselves, leading them to believe they like the person they're helping, thus laying the groundwork for more positive relationships. Implementing the favor trick in real life requires finesse and awareness of the situation. The key is to request something small and reasonable, something that doesn't inconvenience the other person but still requires a conscious effort. This request not only paves the way for a more meaningful interaction, but also fosters a sense of personal investment in the relationship. It's crucial to note that the success of this technique hinges on sincerity and timing. The request must come across as genuine and be made at an appropriate moment to avoid seeming manipulative or coercive. Additionally, acknowledging and expressing gratitude for the favor performed is essential for reinforcing positive perceptions and reciprocity in the relationship. Asking for a favor also presents an opportunity to show trust in the other person by recognizing their skills or resources. This can boost their self-esteem and promote a culture of cooperation and mutual respect. When used thoughtfully, the favor technique can be a valuable tool for strengthening bonds, fostering open communication, and building more cohesive and collaborative communities. However, it's vital to respect the boundaries and autonomy of others. The favor technique should be viewed as a way to initiate dialogue and establish relationships based on mutual respect, 
rather than a strategy for gaining advantage or manipulation. When employed with integrity, it becomes a powerful means of cultivating deeper personal and professional connections. Number 5. The Law of Reciprocity The Law of Reciprocity is a potent psychological principle that holds significant sway in human interactions and social dynamics. Essentially, it posits that when someone does something for us, we feel an innate urge to reciprocate in some manner. This inclination to balance the scales can manifest in various forms, whether through a favor, a gift, or even a simple expression of gratitude. This principle delves into our intrinsic inclination towards reciprocity, a fundamental impulse observed across diverse cultures worldwide. Consciously applying the law of reciprocity in our lives can profoundly impact how we connect with others. By extending an initial offering, be it a gesture of kindness, valuable information, or a small gift, we foster an environment conducive to cooperation and strengthen social bonds. This not only heightens the likelihood of a positive response, but also nurtures a cycle of giving and receiving, enriching our interactions and communities. It's essential that the application of this law stems from genuine generosity, rather than expectations of personal gain. The true magic of reciprocity unfolds when acts of kindness are performed without the anticipation of a reward. When people sense sincerity and genuine motives behind a gesture, their response tends to be warmer and more authentic, thereby reinforcing relationship bonds. However, overly grand gestures may be perceived as attempts at obligation or manipulation, potentially causing discomfort or resistance. Similarly, understanding the appropriate timing and method of offering in a manner that resonates positively with the other person is crucial for the success of this strategy. Reciprocity doesn't necessarily require immediate or directly proportional responses. The act of giving sets off a chain of generosity that often returns to the giver in unexpected and fulfilling ways. Patience and trust in this process, along with openness to receiving, are essential components. The law of reciprocity transcends being merely a psychological trick. It embodies a life philosophy. When practiced with integrity and empathy, it holds the power to transform our relationships and communities. Through engaging in acts of selfless generosity, we not only cultivate deeper connections, but also contribute to a more cooperative and harmonious world. Number 6. Scarcity This psychological principle highlights that people often place higher value on what they perceive as rare or at risk of becoming inaccessible. This phenomenon, rooted in the fear of losing something valuable, significantly influences our decisions and behaviors. By leveraging the concept of scarcity in social interactions or marketing strategies, it's possible to enhance the perceived value of a product, service, or opportunity, encouraging quicker and more decisive action. Effective use of scarcity creates a sense of urgency, making offers appear more attractive simply because they are limited. This can be observed in promotions with phrases like while stocks last, or countdowns to the end of an offer. However, the success of this strategy hinges on its authenticity. Fabricated or perceived as manipulative scarcity can breed distrust and harm credibility. To apply scarcity effectively, it's essential to clearly communicate the value of what is being offered, highlighting not only its rarity, but also why it is desirable or beneficial. This could involve emphasizing the unique features of a product, the exclusive benefits of an opportunity, or the singular experience being made available. The goal is to make the offer not just limited, but also irresistible. Ethical application of scarcity involves genuinely limiting offers based on real restrictions, such as time availability, resource quantity, or access to exclusive experiences. This not only validates scarcity as a legitimate factor, but also respects the intelligence and autonomy of the consumer or interlocutor, grounding the interaction in principles of honesty and mutual respect. However, it's crucial to be sensitive to the impact that scarcity can have on people. While it can motivate action, it can also cause anxiety or undue pressure. Therefore, when using scarcity, one must always consider the balance between encouraging informed and conscious decisions and avoiding emotional manipulation. 
Scarcity is a powerful psychological tool that when used responsibly and in combination with a genuinely valuable offer, can enrich interactions and transactions. It creates a sense of value and urgency that benefits both the provider and the recipient. At number seven, validating emotions. Validating someone's emotions means accepting and understanding how they feel, even if we don't necessarily agree with why they feel that way. When we validate others, we show that we respect their viewpoint and their experiences, creating a space where they can express themselves authentically and have meaningful conversations. This validation is crucial in resolving conflicts and offering emotional support because it demonstrates empathy and understanding. When people feel heard and recognized, they're more likely to open up and work through misunderstandings, strengthening their relationships. To validate someone, it's important to actively listen, reflect on what they've said, and acknowledge their feelings without rushing to solve the problem. Simple phrases like, that sounds frustrating, or I understand why you feel that way, can make a big difference. Authenticity is key in emotional communication. Forced validation can make someone feel even more isolated. Genuine emotional validation fosters healthy communication, deepens connections and supports emotional well-being, affirming that our emotions matter and are an integral part of being human. At number eight, curiosity. Curiosity is a potent force in human psychology, capable of driving learning, exploration and attention. This technique involves piquing someone's interest and curiosity, making communication, information, or offers more appealing and engaging. By arousing curiosity, you create an emotional hook that significantly boosts attention, retention, motivation to act, and memory of the presented content. Effectively using curiosity often entails presenting an intriguing question, surprising fact, or incomplete story that leaves the listener eager for more. This can be achieved through various techniques such as using titles or introductions that spark questioning, presenting challenges that encourage problem solving, or gradually revealing information to keep the audience engaged from start to finish. Awakening curiosity also involves embracing the unknown and unexpected, as people are naturally drawn to mystery and what they don't fully understand, leading them to seek answers and solutions. This technique can be particularly effective in educational and marketing contexts where engaging the audience is crucial for transmitting a message or selling a product. It's important to strike a balance in the amount of information or level of mystery presented. Too much uncertainty can lead to frustration, while too little may not be enough to spark genuine interest. The key lies in finding the sweet spot that captures the audience's imagination, leading them on a satisfying journey of discovery. Feeding curiosity requires providing a resolution or conclusion that is rewarding. The satisfaction of curiosity should result in increased knowledge, deeper understanding, or an enriching experience. This not only rewards the audience for their engagement, but also strengthens the connection between the communicator and the receiver, creating a positive memory associated with the interaction. Curiosity is a psychological technique that, when skillfully leveraged, can revolutionize how information is received and retained. Awakening and satisfying curiosity not only enhance learning and communication effectiveness, but also make the experience more enjoyable, fostering deeper and longer-lasting connections with the content or message being presented. Congratulations on reaching the halfway mark of the video. Taking the time to invest in self-improvement is commendable and I applaud your commitment to becoming the best version of yourself. Your support means a lot to me, and leaving a comment below would greatly help our channel grow. If you're unsure what to write, simply comment, I am in my best version of myself to let me know you've reached this point. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring content like this in the future. Thank you for being a part of our community, and I look forward to sharing more valuable insights with you soon. Number 9. The Art of Active Listening Active listening goes beyond mere hearing. It serves as a powerful psychological technique for enhancing relationships, fostering understanding and promoting an environment of mutual respect. This approach involves listening attentively with the aim of fully grasping the speaker's message, reflecting on what has been said, and responding in a way that validates the other person's experience. 
Practicing active listening entails several key strategies, including maintaining eye contact, nodding, using facial expressions that convey understanding, and asking relevant questions that demonstrate genuine interest in the conversation. These actions communicate to the speaker that their message is being received and valued, creating a safe space for open and sincere exchange of ideas. Additionally, repeating or paraphrasing important points helps ensure accurate understanding while showing the speaker that they have been heard correctly. Active listening has a profound impact on interpersonal relationships. It can diffuse conflicts by ensuring all parties feel heard and understood, while also strengthening bonds through the cultivation of empathy and connection. In the workplace, active listening can enhance team dynamics and problem-solving effectiveness by facilitating collaboration and mutual understanding. A crucial aspect of active listening is patience and the willingness to withhold one's response or judgment until the speaker has finished expressing their thoughts. This can be particularly challenging in emotionally charged conversations or when significant differences of opinion exist. However, prioritizing complete understanding before formulating a response fosters an atmosphere of respect and consideration, potentially leading to more creative and mutually satisfying solutions. Beyond improving communication and relationships, active listening contributes to personal development by encouraging openness to new ideas and perspectives. By actively listening, we can expand our understanding of the world and others, adapting our worldview in a more informed and empathetic manner. In summary, active listening is more than just a psychological trick. It is a fundamental communication skill that enriches human interaction at all levels. By practicing active listening, we not only enhance our relationships and understanding of others, but also promote an environment of respect, understanding, and collaboration that benefits everyone involved. At number 10, the halo effect. The halo effect is a fascinating psychological phenomenon that reveals how our overall impressions of a person can shape our judgments about their specific characteristics. Essentially, when we perceive a single positive quality in someone, like attractiveness, charisma, or professional success, we tend to attribute other positive qualities to them, such as intelligence, kindness, or competence, even without direct evidence. This trick highlights the power of first impressions and their influence on our perception of individuals across various dimensions. The halo effect can be consciously harnessed to enhance how others perceive us whether in social, professional, or academic settings. Presenting ourselves in a polished manner, maintaining a positive attitude, and demonstrating competence in one area can lead people to form a more favorable overall view of us. However, it's essential that this strategy is employed with integrity, ensuring that the impression we leave is genuine and reflective of our skills and intentions. In practice, we can observe the halo effect in various situations, from job interviews to social gatherings. For example, a candidate who presents themselves well and speaks confidently may be perceived as more qualified for a position, even if other areas of competence haven't been directly assessed. Similarly, someone who displays good manners and friendliness in a social setting may be seen as more trustworthy and pleasant. It's important to recognize how the halo effect not only influences the way we see others, but also how we are seen by them. By understanding this phenomenon, we can take steps to ensure our first impressions are as positive as possible, while also striving to look beyond first impressions in others, seeking a deeper understanding of the people around us. However, it's crucial to develop critical awareness to prevent the halo effect from leading us to hasty judgments or superficial evaluations of people. Recognizing that a single positive characteristic doesn't define the entire complexity of an individual is essential for fostering fair and balanced interactions. In summary, the halo effect underscores the significance of first impressions and their impact on perception across various areas. By consciously and ethically using it, we can improve how we are perceived while also striving to see beyond first impressions in others, seeking a richer and more nuanced understanding of those around us. Number 11. The Law of Contrast The psychological principle of contrast highlights how we perceive differences between two sequentially presented things. 
Essentially, when two items, ideas, or situations are placed side by side, we tend to evaluate the second in direct contrast to the first, which can significantly amplify our perception of their differences. For instance, if you place one hand in cold water and then place it in room temperature water, the room temperature water will seem noticeably warmer, even though its temperature hasn't changed. In communication, negotiation, and marketing, the law of contrast can be used to influence people's perception and decision-making significantly. For example, presenting a higher price before revealing the actual price of a product can make the second price appear more attractive, even if it might be considered high in isolation. This is because our perception of value is relative to what was previously presented. To effectively apply the law of contrast, it's crucial to understand the context and goals of the interaction. In negotiation, starting with higher demands than expected can make subsequent more moderate terms seem reasonable, facilitating an agreement. Similarly, in education, introducing a complex concept before simplifying it can make the simplified version more easily understood and appreciated. However, it's important to use the law of contrast with ethics and transparency. Deceptively manipulating people's perception can lead to distrust and harm long-term relationships. The key is to offer real value and use contrast to highlight that value in a fair and clear manner. The law of contrast also underscores the importance of preparation and presentation in communication. By carefully planning the order in which information, ideas, or offers are presented, we can guide the perception and response of our audience improving the effectiveness of our communication and establishing a stronger and more positive connection with others. In summary, the law of contrast is a powerful psychological tool that when used with consideration and integrity can enhance our ability to communicate, persuade, and influence. By understanding and applying this principle, we can improve the way our messages, products, or services are perceived, leading to more productive interactions and more satisfactory outcomes. Number 12. The Power of Touch This explores how subtle physical contact can significantly influence perception and social interaction. This psychological technique is grounded in the notion that a light and appropriate touch can convey trust, empathy, and establish a deeper connection between individuals. In human relationships, touch serves as a potent form of nonverbal communication, capable of expressing support, affection, and understanding without the need for words. Research has shown that gestures like a firm handshake, a touch on the arm during a conversation, or a warm hug can significantly enhance feelings of trust and cooperation. For instance, in a professional setting, a handshake at the beginning and end of a meeting can go beyond a mere formality, serving as a means to establish a more solid connection and convey reliability. However, it's essential to approach the use of touch as an influencing tool with sensitivity and respect for individual and cultural differences. What might be perceived as a friendly gesture in one culture could be interpreted differently in another. Additionally, it's crucial to be mindful of each person's comfort and personal boundaries as a touch that is unwelcome or invasive can have the opposite effect, causing discomfort or withdrawal. To effectively utilize the power of touch, it's vital to observe and respond to the other person's nonverbal signals. This may involve starting with more reserved gestures, such as a handshake, and only progressing to more personal forms of touch if there is clear openness and reciprocity. Furthermore, considering the context of the interaction is crucial, choosing moments when a touch can be seen as a gesture of support or encouragement, such as during a compliment or expressing gratitude. In summary, when used with consideration and respect, the power of touch can be an incredibly effective tool for strengthening bonds, improving communication, and fostering a sense of connection and trust between individuals. It serves as a reminder that even in an increasingly digital world, tangible human connections hold invaluable worth and can significantly enrich our interactions. Number 13. The Principle of Authority the principle of authority is a psychological tactic grounded in people's natural inclination to follow or trust individuals perceived as experts in specific areas or subjects. This tendency stems from our inherent desire for guidance and clarity in a complex world. 
driving us to seek direction from those who demonstrate knowledge, competence, or power. When someone is viewed as an authority, their opinions, decisions, and recommendations are more readily accepted, often without critical evaluation. Effectively applying the principle of authority begins with establishing credibility. This can be achieved by demonstrating specialized knowledge, relevant experience, or affiliations with other respected authorities. However, it's essential that this authority is genuine and built on integrity. Trust, once compromised by false statements or deceitful practices, is challenging to regain. In professional contexts, such as a doctor wearing a lab coat and displaying credentials in their office, signals expertise and competence, enhancing patient trust. Similarly, in a business presentation, referencing relevant research or showcasing past successes reinforces the speaker's authority, making the audience more receptive to their ideas. Nevertheless, it's crucial to balance authority with accessibility. The most respected authorities are those who, in addition to competence, demonstrate empathy and openness to questions and discussions. This humanizes the authority figure and fosters an environment of learning and mutual growth. Moreover, it's important to recognize how authority can subconsciously influence behavior and decisions. Blind obedience to authority can lead to errors in judgment or unethical actions, as evidenced by famous psychological experiments. Therefore, encouraging critical thinking and healthy questioning of authorities is as vital as establishing one's own authority. In summary, the principle of authority is a potent tool for influencing and leading when used ethically and responsibly. It can enhance communication, build trust, and foster cooperation. However, it must be tempered with humility and a commitment to engage in dialogue, ensuring that authority serves the common good and mutual development. Number 14. Consistency. The principle of consistency relies on our natural inclination to align our actions with our statements, beliefs, and previous behaviors. While crucial for building a stable personal identity, it also serves as a potent tool for subtly influencing others' behavior. The effectiveness of this principle stems from our aversion to cognitive dissonance, the discomfort experienced when our behaviors contradict our beliefs or past actions. One way to leverage consistency is through initial commitment. When individuals verbally or in writing commit to an idea or goal, they are more inclined to follow through with subsequent actions, even at a personal cost. This consistency between beliefs and actions is viewed positively as it reflects integrity and reliability. In sales, for instance, persuading a customer to agree on the importance of certain product features before presenting the product aligns with this principle. In social or work contexts, Asking for small favors or initial commitments can establish a precedent for future cooperation. Ethical application of the principle of consistency requires that initial commitments are made freely and without pressure. Additionally, the actions or beliefs promoted should genuinely align with the other person's interests and values. This fosters adherence and cultivates relationships grounded in mutual respect and understanding Consistency also aids personal development. Setting clear goals and making commitments public enhances motivation to achieve them, as individuals seek to maintain consistency with their previous statements. Thus, consistency serves as a positive force for influencing behavior and promoting growth and personal achievement. In summary, consistency is a powerful psychological principle that subtly shapes behaviors and decisions. When applied with respect for others' values and autonomy, it becomes a valuable tool for building trustworthy relationships and encouraging actions that benefit both individuals and communities. At number 15, social proof. Social proof is a psychological strategy that taps into how people tend to look to others' actions and choices when they're unsure about what to do. It's like when you're not sure which restaurant to pick, so you check online reviews. The idea is that if lots of people have chosen something, it's probably a good choice. To make social proof work, you need to showcase popular choices, testimonials, or approvals from groups that matter to your audience. This could mean customer reviews, endorsements from influencers, or success stories from relatable people. 
In marketing, social proof is often used to build trust in a product or service by showing that many others are already happy with it. However, it's crucial that the social proof is genuine. Trying to fake it with fake reviews or undisclosed paid endorsements can backfire and damage trust in the long run. Also, it's important to remember that social proof has its limits and shouldn't be used to promote harmful or unethical behavior. Beyond marketing, social proof can also be used for good, like encouraging sustainable practices or healthy lifestyles. Overall, when used ethically and responsibly, social proof can be a powerful tool for influencing individual choices and behaviors, benefiting both businesses and society. Before we proceed, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you very much to our existing subscribers. At number 16, Emotional Contrast. Emotional contrast is a psychological technique that involves guiding someone through a journey from moments of difficulty to positive resolution. This trick is rooted in the idea that experiences are more intense and memorable when they are preceded by contrasting emotions. For instance, the feeling of relief and happiness is heightened after a period of anxiety or fear, creating a more vivid and lasting emotional experience. Effectively applying emotional contrast can be a potent tool in storytelling, marketing, education, and everyday conversations. By starting with a problem or challenge and then presenting a solution or happy ending, you not only capture the audience's attention, but also forge a stronger emotional connection. This emotional journey can enhance the persuasiveness of the message, improve information retention, and spur action. In narratives, stories involving conflicts followed by resolution tend to be more engaging and satisfying. In advertising, presenting a common problem, followed by the introduction of a product or service, as the solution can motivate consumers to take action in pursuit of the promised positive transformation. However, it's crucial to use emotional contrast with sensitivity and authenticity. Excessive manipulation of emotions may be perceived as insincere or exploitative, harming the credibility of the message or the messenger. Moreover, it's important to ensure that the resolution offered is realistic and achievable, providing genuine hope and optimism. Beyond its applications in communication and marketing, emotional contrast also has profound implications for personal growth and overcoming challenges. Recognizing that difficult moments can lead to growth and positive resolution can offer comfort during adversity, fostering resilience and a more optimistic outlook. In summary, emotional contrast is a valuable psychological tool that, when used ethically and thoughtfully, can enrich communication, strengthen messages, and foster deep emotional connections. By guiding individuals through an emotional journey of highs and lows, it's possible to capture their attention and leave a lasting impression, motivating reflection, learning, and action. Number 17. Uniqueness. The uniqueness principle is a psychological strategy that emphasizes the importance of making individuals feel special or distinct in a given context. This principle suggests that people are more likely to be engaged, participate actively, or invest in a situation when they perceive their involvement as uniquely valuable and when they believe they bring something to the table that no one else can offer. By appealing to an individual's sense of uniqueness, the connection and motivation can be strengthened, validating their individuality and specific contributions. Implementing the uniqueness strategy involves acknowledging and celebrating the unique characteristics, talents, or perspectives that individuals bring. This could range from simple acts like personalizing a message or offer to reflect an individual's interests, to more complex efforts such as creating tailored opportunities or experiences that align with a group or individual's unique qualities. For instance, in marketing, campaigns that personalize messages and offers based on consumer behavior and preferences can lead to a more positive response, as consumers feel valued and understood as individuals. Similarly, in the workplace, recognizing and leveraging the unique strengths of each team member can enhance work efficacy and satisfaction, fostering a sense of belonging and appreciation. However, it's essential that any effort to highlight uniqueness is genuine and grounded in an authentic understanding of individual qualities. 
Superficial attempts at personalization or generic compliments can be perceived as insincere, diminishing the effectiveness of the strategy and potentially harming the relationship. Additionally, while emphasizing uniqueness can strengthen connections and motivation, it's crucial to balance this approach with acknowledging the value of community and interdependence. Celebrating uniqueness should not overshadow the importance of collaboration and collective contribution. Instead, it should enrich the community as a whole. Appealing to uniqueness is a psychological approach that, when applied with care and authenticity, can significantly enhance engagement, satisfaction, and loyalty. By valuing individuals as unique contributors and recognizing their specific contributions, it's possible to foster an environment of respect and appreciation that benefits everyone involved. Last on our list, at number 17, anticipation is a psychological technique that delves into the thrilling anticipation of something about to unfold, thereby heightening interest and engagement through the promise of future rewards or experiences. This principle is grounded in the notion that the expectation of an event can be just as exhilarating, if not more so, than the event itself. Anticipation creates a sense of suspense that captivates people, leaving them eager for what lies ahead. Effectively utilizing anticipation involves cultivating a sense of expectation and curiosity, laying the groundwork for something significant, exciting, or revealing. This can be accomplished through teasers, previews, countdowns, or announcements that provide hints without fully disclosing what's to come. For instance, in marketing, Campaigns employing these techniques can generate anticipation and buzz, encouraging the audience to stay engaged. In narrative contexts, anticipation can build tension in a story, keeping the audience on edge and eagerly anticipating the climax. Similarly, in educational settings, introducing a topic with an intriguing question or challenge can pique student interest, motivating them to explore further to uncover answers. To ensure the effectiveness of anticipation, it's essential to strike a balance in the amount of information revealed. Revealing too much up front can diminish interest, while revealing too little can lead to confusion or frustration. The key is to maintain a balance that keeps people curious and eager, yet assured that the wait will be worthwhile. Furthermore, it's crucial to fulfill the promises made during the anticipation phase. If the final experience or product fails to live up to the hype, it can result in disappointment and loss of trust. Therefore, delivering a satisfactory and valuable final product or experience is essential for credibility and audience satisfaction. Anticipation can also have a positive impact on emotional well-being, as the expectation of positive events can increase happiness and satisfaction. This underscores the importance of anticipation not only as a tool for engagement and marketing, but also as a contributor to enriching life experiences. In summary, anticipation is a potent psychological technique that, when used strategically and responsibly, can amplify interest, emotion, and satisfaction. By fostering expectation and delivering rewarding experiences, it's possible to create memorable moments and forge deeper, more meaningful relationships with the audience. As we explore the realm of psychological tricks, it's crucial to approach interactions with integrity and respect, utilizing these techniques to promote collective well-being rather than for unfair manipulation or personal gain. Embracing these principles opens pathways to more effective communication, deeper relationships, and a richer understanding of human nature. Thank you sincerely for your support. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. Let's continue on the path of growth together. Stay profound, stay safe, and stay stoic. See you at our next one. God bless.